join the American Meteorological Society by becoming a member of the band. The AMS Weather Band is a global community of weather enthusiasts dedicated to learning and sharing their love of science. Visit amsweatherband.org to learn more and join the band today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Wednesday, March 17th, 2021. I'm James Spam. We have a dangerous, severe weather situation for Alabama this afternoon and tonight. A whole lot of things to talk about today, so let's get right into it. We start with the upper air look. This is the flow pattern across the country, about 18,000 feet off the ground. And we have a very deep upper trough coming into Texas. And that will be going negative tilt later today, providing dynamic support for the storms. That was the radar this morning at 430. And you can see we've got convection beginning to fire on the western side of the state, but nothing severe. And the odds of severe storms this morning are low. The main problems begin this afternoon. Now, we have a wedge front we have colder air that's moving into East Alabama from the east, the cold air damming situation, the wedge. So if you're in Aniana, Gadsden, Pell City, Anniston, you're in the low to mid 50s. It's relatively cool and stable. But West Alabama in the 60s, Tuscaloosa sitting at 65. And regionally, you can see the effect of that wedge. We've got low 50s for parts of Georgia and the Carolinas as well. But very mild air to the south and west. That wedge front will slowly be drifting northward this morning as a warm front front. Now early this morning we should note there's some dense fog in that cooler air over the eastern half of the state. There's a dense fog advisory that will be dissipating later this morning. Now this is the big picture this morning in terms of watches and warnings. We do note we've got severe storms in progress over parts of Oklahoma and Texas where there's good dynamic forcing going on. We have a blizzard warning in effect for parts of the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles and a flash flood watch for parts of southern Missouri, and the western tip of Kentucky, the southern tip of Illinois. But obviously, this is the concern, the, the severe weather potential. This is the day one severe weather outlook, and the SPC guys have issued a high risk, level five out of five, for parts of Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, and West Alabama. Of course, surrounding that, we have risks as far north as St. Louis and as far east as Macon, Georgia. This is the probabilistic outlook for tornadoes today. And again, in the hatched area, that means we have the chance of a few strong, violent tornadoes, EF3, 4, or 5. And the probabilities there, that's the chance of a tornado passing within 25 miles of a given point. And in the high-risk area, that's 30%. And understand, tornadoes are very small. That's a very high number. This is the probabilistic outlook for damaging winds. And again, most of Alabama in a 30% bracket, meaning there's a 30% chance of damaging wind within 25 miles of a given point. Here's a closer look at our state, and please don't get too hung up in all of these colors and risk categories. You simply need to understand the entire state all 67 Alabama counties with a significant risk of severe storms. But the high risk includes parts of Lamar, Fayette, Tuscaloosa, Pickens, Green, Sumter counties in West Alabama. The moderate risk, level four out of five, runs over to Huntsville, Anniston, Gadsden, Tuskegee, Greenville, down to Jackson, and the rest of the state in a level three enhanced risk. Then tomorrow, the risk moves on to the east, a moderate risk over parts of the Carolinas and Georgia. And we'll talk much more about what's to come here in just a moment in modeling. And this is day three, which is Friday. No severe storms expected across the country. This is the rain for the next seven days. For Alabama, the amounts will be in the one and a half to two and a half inch range for the northern half of the state, under one inch for southeast Alabama. So let's go through modeling. This is the GFS. This is the OZ run valid today at three. There's your dynamic negative tilt upper trough, increasing difluence across the region and providing dynamic support. A surface low is over western Arkansas under 1,000 millibars. And we're obviously in the warm sector. Uh, I say that. Now, if you're in northeast Alabama, it's cool and stable this morning, but that warmer, unstable air surges in there later today. So this is the high res NAM valid today at 4 o'clock. And in the warm sector, all of those storms you see across the state, those could go severe very easily anytime after 1 o'clock today. And some of those could produce a tornado. This 8 o'clock this evening, again, uh, evidence of thunderstorms. And the radar will not look exactly like that. Please understand that. But any storms in progress across our state could be severe. And we notice the main activity forming to the west over Mississippi. And this is after midnight, 1 a.m., 
Showers and thunderstorms coming in here, not necessarily linear, they're still broken. And so these storms could produce damaging winds and again, the chance of tornadoes. This is the instability. And again, this is after midnight, 1 a.m., uh, surface based capes in excess of 1,000 joules, very high shear numbers. This is the zero to one kilometer storm relative felicity. And even after midnight, the STP values are elevated over five units in many cases. This is updraft helicity. Uh, the uh, possibility of rotating thunderstorms and see all those tracks across the northern and central part of the state. And again, please understand, we're not saying tornadoes will touch down exactly where you see those rotating tracks, but the potential is there anywhere, basically, for the state. In terms of the timing, again, we think the window opens up about 1 o'clock this afternoon for the entire state. Any storm after that through the late night pre-dawn hours could produce large hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes. Storms should be ending in northwest Alabama about 2 a.m., Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden around 4 a.m. Storms could linger into southeast Alabama through 7 or maybe 8 a.m. tomorrow. But again, this, this has, been, has been on the table for days, and, and if you watch these videos, you're perfectly aware of that. But again, our ask is that you tell your neighbors and friends uh, and people you know about this that don't pay attention to weather and be sure they have two ways of getting warnings. They know their safe place. They have helmets for everybody. If they live in a trailer, they have a plan on where they're going. Uh, we're, we're down to the last minute for preparations, but again, you can help us by spreading the word. But this is a very, very volatile setup. We're basically sitting on a powder keg this morning. So tomorrow, everything's out of here. Uh, we might see a few intervals of sunshine, but the day should be mostly cloudy and cooler with highs only in the upper 50s and low 60s. This is Friday, a cool day, highs in the upper 50s. Clouds could linger a decent chunk of the day. Day should be dry. This is Saturday, the sky becoming sunny. The high will be around 60, and Sunday morning's going to be cold. We'll be in the 30s in many spots. We could see frost, maybe a freeze for the colder valleys. The high Sunday, mid-60s. Monday, we're dry, upper 60s. This is Tuesday. Here comes the next system. Tuesday night at midnight, the, the surface low is over Iowa. And uh, with this one, uh, this could push maybe some strong storms in here Tuesday night, but I'd say the severe potential at the moment looks limited. And here's a week from today, Wednesday, March 24th, the new system back in the southwest. The front stalls out, so rain will likely linger into Wednesday. So this is Friday of next week, March the 26th. The next system lifts out, a surface low near Chicago. That might bring some strong storms. And this is Saturday the 27th, a zonal flow. We're back in a dry air mass. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean between 3 and 4 inches between now and the 1st of April. There's the cool down after the storms, uh, the national blend of models showing a high of 56 on Friday. It's got 37 for Birmingham Sunday morning. And again, many spots will see low and mid 30s with uh, uh, frost on the ground. Then we go back in the 70s next week. And the CPC outlook, this is for March 24th through March 30th, suggesting temperatures will be above average across the Deep South. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. No afternoon video today because most likely we'll be in severe weather coverage. But again, be sure you get the warnings. Have a plan. We'll get through the day together. Watch us for continuing coverage later today on ABC 3340. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless and be safe. Join the American Meteorological Society by becoming a member of the band. The AMS Weather Band is a global community of weather enthusiasts dedicated to learning and sharing their love of science. Visit amsweatherband.org to learn more and join the band today.